Hello friends, today we are going to see display data annotation attribute in MVC3 Razor and display attribute sets the friendly name for a model property and the name provided using display attribute is used to display text for labels and also to display default error messages where this display name is used as a field name or a property name the display attribute also allows us to control the order in which properties will appear on the UI we can control the order in which the uh, controls would be rendered on the form on the UI uh, by using this property by using display attribute I mean and in order to use this attribute we have to include system dot component model or data annotation namespace reference now let's see through the code how we can use a display property this is basically a model class we have a model class and we have a view where we are using a data from model helper to render all our controls inside the model class and uh, it will generate editor for all the properties and we are generating this in the form and on the click of the submit we are submitting the form so while submitting if there is any error or if the model state is invalid we will be uh, seeing the error message on the UI now let's manipulate the first name property and if you run and see the application Currently, we are not giving any display name for the first name property, so it picks the property name as the text for the label text. Now you can see it picks the property name itself, first name. Now let's give it a, some different name using display. So we say display name equal to first. We give space name and a colon and we just uh, run the application and see how it looks now you can see the first name text has been changed and it's according to the display property we have set so this first name is used to a use will be used as a friendly name to display uh, the label text and other error messages now suppose we apply a required attribute for the first name property and uh, let's run the application and our form is rendered and we submit the form and it gonna it will throw us the validation message or validation error because first name is required property now if you could see it picks the first name that is the friendly name we have specified and appends it in the default message and it displayed the error message now if we haven't used a display property it would have picked the first name property name and shown the error message so this display property is also display name first name is also used in error messages to display the default messages now suppose now let's see how we can order the uh, elements using the display property and uh, let's remove this required and we set order property and it accepts the integer value suppose we say give it a 3 and uh, we set this display property for last name as well and we say last name and we order it as 2 now suppose we have city property and we name it as where you stay question mark and we give it order as 1 now when you don't specify order the editor for model will render the controls as per the order of property in the model itself but now you are manipulating the order by specifying the order using the display property so it would follow the order which you have provided using the display property now let's uh, run the application and see how the form looks like now we gave city a friendly name that is where you stay and order 
of integer 1 so it is at the top and last name and first name so we are seeing the form according to the order we decided at the property level so by this way display property can attribute can be used to uh, set the order of elements as well now we can also pick the friendly name from resource files for that what we're going to do is we say display and we say resource type equal to we need to specify the type of I mean the resource file a multi is the name of our resource file and we say our error message or a resource type would be a type of multi that is which is a name of a resource file which is found in the multi resource folder and we have included its reference as well so now uh, our resource type is set but in order to specify the key I mean the first name should uh, the multi resource file should have a key from where the friendly name should be picked for that the name attribute is used now suppose we say its name is first underscore name now this key should be present in the resource file to pick the name now suppose we have a key here and let's give it a value please the first name now when the form is rendered the system will find first name key in multi resource file and will pick its value and will render it on the UI now let's run the application and see whether it happens or not we run the application Now you can see it picked the text from the resource file now by this way you can uh, have the keys present in the different resource files for different languages and you can change the label text according to the current culture set so by this way we can use display property to display attribute uh, to order the elements to pick the text from the resource files and to set the friendly name thank you friends